you know, it's been a painful week for us Puerto Ricans. Knowing that our people in Puerto Rico are going through some hard time and we're not there to help them out. It's been a long week. We have collected many, many supplies to ship to our people in Puerto Rico. I want everybody here to know that we Puerto Ricans are very humble, very humble people that we come to the rescue to everyone that needs us in a time of need. We never say no to anyone who's in need. And the first thing that we do is we stand there and we say presente. I haven't heard from many of my family yet. I don't know if some of my families are dead or they're still alive. There were many racial comments made on Facebook, but I don't pay mind to that. My father taught me to ignore those things. And it was very hurtful just to, we were already in pain in watching our people suffering and then reading all these racial comments that were made about us Puerto Ricans and the Puerto Ricans in Puerto Rico. Comments like they should be exterminated. Comments like they should die. Man, that was hurtful. I was born in Puerto Rico. I was raised in the state of Connecticut. And trust me, I love the state of Connecticut. I love this country. I love what this country stands for. When I came here in 1967, we faced a lot of this racial stuff. I thought this was over. But it reminded me of the time when I was growing up. And I can't believe that today in 2017, we're facing this things. My island needs help. My island. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If anybody could help us, please. 